My sister talks to her homegirl through the screen of her phone, like it's the screen of the front door. And they talking about a protest and how they heard this and that. This being people from everywhere are taking to the streets to call out and cry out for freedom to live and freedom to laugh at funny jokes and not so funny jokes. Like, why did the chicken cross the road? To prove he wasn't no chicken. And freedom to run. And be out of breath. And catch it again. And freedom to play without worry about the rules being rearranged. And freedom to breathe. And freedom to walk. And shout. And cry. And scream. And scroll. And pray. And the that in this and that is the feeling that this fight for freedom ain't nothing but a fist with a face that, that looks, looks like, like mine. mine. Swinging at the wind. Or swinging on a swing. Pulling back. And back. And back. And pushing forward. And forward. And forward. High enough to fly off and catch air. And maybe grab some sky through the clouds. Jason Reynolds became a poet at nine years old. Decades later, his poetry and his novels inspire all of us. Across generations, borders, and cultures. To ask deep questions of ourselves and one another. Jason draws us in with questions, ideas, and with the pure joy of his work. Here in Nashville, we're celebrating Jason's work during Nashville Reads 2024. We're digging into his writing. We're paying attention to the questions he's prompting. We're taking joy in his talent as a poet and a writer. I hope you will too.